Hello and welcome to a brand new series of Football Manager 2021. Um, so I've got the, the touch version on my iPad and we're going to jump into a new career. Um, so I put it out there a couple of times who anyone thought and uh, someone suggested in the German divisions. So I'm going to go to Germany and... I had a little look at the teams just to see. I want to go in a really low league so I can build my way up like I did before with Edinburgh City. Um, and I was having a look at the teams here. I also showed my wife and was like, what do you think? Which which uh, team do you think looks good? And because she liked the logo and the name, I'm going to go with Zwickau. I think it's Zwickau. Um, it's a good start, isn't it? I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm going to quickly advance set up. And I'm going to have... France and Holland as the other two nations so I can get some good French Dutch players maybe involved but I want to try and get quite a lot of German players built up like young German uh, youth kind of like how I did before with the Scottish team I wanted to kind of make homegrown players rather than like bring in loads of uh, people from different countries so that's where I'm going to have it for now I'm gonna yeah start the game and we're going to jump in. So yeah, my, my plan is, because the German league, Bundesliga 1, is, from what I can see, I don't watch it very often, I, I, I see highlights every now and then on YouTube. Bayern ba basically own that league, don't they? So the end goal is to um, dethrone Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich, and also try and get to Europa Champions League sort of level. So it's a long way, but I wonder if we will be able to do it. I already set up a profile. My favourite team. Oh, I don't know. I'll go with England, Prem. Uh, I'll go with Man United. They're, they're not exactly my favourite team, but they used to be the team I supported when I was younger. So favourite formation. Just keep it simple, 4-4-2. Past playing experience. Sunday League footballer, if that. Uh, and then... Go on to appearance. Now, I don't know what it is, but it looks like there's something a little bit broken at the moment where you can't actually change the appearance of this guy. So, um, I can just randomize the face. And I think we've got a winner right there, haven't we? He looks amazing. So, um, we're just going to confirm that. And in we go. So, Zwickauld have today confirmed the appointment of Sir Scribbles as the new club's manager new manager eyebrows have been raised in the world of football the appointment of the 28 year old who has recently spent time away from club football scribbles has put pen to paper for a one-year deal worth two thousand pounds per week he replaces previous manager joe inox uh scribbles lacks reputation of a survival specialist which creates intriguing dynamic which makes pundits expecting them to face battle to avoid relegation this season I think avoid relegation, yes. I think we probably need to aim a little bit higher and try and um, keep our team uh, mid-table minimum. I want to try and get into promotion playoffs, though. Reputation, two stars. Uh, Robert Lenk, Robin Lenk, even, is our assistant manager. Tony Wachsmuth is our director of football. Um, club history, we don't... Da, 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 founded in 1990, so a fairly new club. Um, professional German club playing in free le free liga. Uh, narrowly avoided relegation last season. The club play their home games in Stadion Zwickau and possess average training facilities and adequate youth facilities. So we probably need to build them up as well. Um, Stadion Zwickau. Okay, interesting. Um, Having enjoyed success recently, as as recently as 2016, Zwickau are a club growing uh, with a growing his, history. Zwickau won the f German fourth tier from only time in 2016 and finished runners-up once. Won the German fifth tier in 92, 94, and 2012. Won the German top division for the only time in 1950. Wait, so they were founded in 1990. How did they win? in 1950. I imagine they're, they were another club which got turned into this. So that's our best squad. 
at the moment. So we've got Drinkhoof and okay, I, I, I'm rubbish with German. I probably shouldn't have picked Germany for the, the country, but I think the omlaut at the top, the two little dots over the O, make it A instead of O. So it's Koenig instead of Konig. Yeah? Anyone who knows how to pronounce these, correct me, please, in the comments. I'm more than happy to hear that. Um, work within wage budget. Bravely fight relegation. Okay. We can do that. Uh, let's just send all these. We don't really need to do them, but uh, we'll save it. Okay. We have taken the hot seat. We've got a lot of players last year of contract but i'm just going to apply a recommendation i don't know any of them so there's no real point jumping in at the moment so we're just going to look at the squad so currently the tactics so it looks a little bit different from the last game as well so i'm just getting used to that as well currently the tactics are a four two three one which isn't really what the sort of uh, formation I play, I'm afraid, lads. So we're gonna, what is going on? I wanna move. Thank you. In... What is, I'm placing you there, thank you. Jeez. There we go. So, we need a striker. Who's the best one? We've got Weg Camp and then Jensen. There we go. Those two are going to be our strikers. Is there like a position which they play better? Yeah, so this guy is a good target man. So we're going to put him as an attacking target man. This guy. Actually, this is his best playing position. Uh, pushing forward. Uh, pressing forward. Attacking. We've got a winger. I mean, we could play him as a defensive winger but I want to play him like a similar role oh my goodness we need a better winger who plays it well let me just put the role into winger attack and see who's the best in that role Davy Frick okay oh my goodness that really affected the team didn't it so um, we're then gonna need to find a good center mid Reinhardt Wait, Reinhardt, isn't that like a character in, um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Overwatch, there you go. We've got an Overwatch character here. Love it. Um, then we've got Knocker. He plays good in a lot of roles, so I'm just going to put him up as a centre mid. I think the defence is what they've put out for me. I think that's probably the best we've got, right? Right back, we do have a better one, but he's currently our centre back. And yeah, our two centre backs are the best ones that we've got at the moment. And our left back, again, seems like Stefan Nakanza is a pretty good player. Then we've got Brink Brinkies in goal, who is our best keeper by far. Okay, there you go. I'm quite happy with that. Um, let's have a look at our depth. We've got okay striker depth. Um, not great goalkeeper depth. We want to probably bring in another young keeper that we can train up. Um, probably need another centre back because Davy Frick seems to be all over the place. He's one of our like all rounders, so we don't want to have him having to jump into some. Uh, side roll sort of thing talking about that how much do we actually have we haven't got anything to spend and we've got 1.8k player wage which is actually not the worst that's pretty good to be honest well so if we get so we've got here defender and defensive mid he might be good oh no defender and center mid he might be quite good finish um Wow, we've got a 39-year-old keeper. We'll give him a scout. He might be worth bringing in just for the experience, you know. Um, 
34 year old centre back. He might be good experience. I'll give him a scout as well. Now, what I do want to do is bring in some young German players, which might be able to uh, we might be able to train up, sort of thing. So, ah, what I'll do actually is I'm going to search for a specific trait. I want someone who's really good at free kicks. Currently, no one on the list. There we go. So, 13 is okay at free kicks. We've got 31 year old attacking mid. Give him a scout, see how good he is. He looks pretty good on paper, but means it might be quite expensive to bring in. We've got a 40 year old defensive mid. But again, having an older player isn't always the worst thing. And we've got a 33 year old left back. So, I'll give him a scout as well. Um. I want to get some pacey players brought in as well, just to see how it would like just to use them because pace is usually quite a good thing to have when you're um, when you're hitting people on counter attack, and that's usually the type of play we we play. So I've got right back who's okay. He's twenty eight, so he's not got a lot of room for development. Um, surprisingly, not a lot of like youth here. Um, tackling and passing is quite good here for a 24 year old so he can still develop into a good player um, but let's just get rid of the attributes now uh, young and see what we can get goalkeeper Austrian 18 year old let's see how good he is um, centre mid 18 year old looks okay so this is just at first me trying to build up my squad really and seeing what we've got. Got another Austrian, got okay finishing, mm, not blown away by it. Ooh, Toganese. Uh, great first touch and technique. He might be worth a shout. Um, what we got here? Mid centre mid. He might be quite good as well. Because um, not if you're looking at like younger players, sometimes their stats aren't great, but they have the potential. So that's what we're looking for, really. Uh, we've got 19 year old quite good tackling actually so we'll see if he he's any good tossed he looks really good actually give him a scout we're just scouting everyone at the moment scouting them all Ooh, a korean wow i'm guessing expensive wage for park hyun jun but if we can get him he might be a really good striker for us to have a german striker not good finishing. I, I tend to steer clear of uh, strikers that don't have good finishing because they just get frustrating. Um, they're usually not that uh, sort of consistent. Ooh, wow, he looks really good actually. Skonbeck? 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 I apologise to any German people watching this. Um, and I'm going to have to keep apologising throughout the series because... Uh, I'm not going to be any good at pronouncing names. Jonas Dorn. Oh, he's got good determination. That's what I like to see. It means he'll get stuck in. Uh, he can play right mid as well. I'm also looking for people who are quite... Oh, no. Oh, wow. One of our strikers is 37. Which probably isn't the best. Uh, means he might get uh, injured quite a lot. So, that uh, finish midfielder is just, just definite no. Um... 39 year old goalkeeper is pretty much a no as well. I'm going to keep the code of conduct the same. Let's not make any big changes while we're, you know, quite new here. Um, who else do I have that can go up front? Wilms, I guess. I'm going to have to remove him from position. Let me just go on to my squad. Don't have any other substitutes, so that is literally gonna have to just remove him and uh, play on with one less sub. So, yeah, okay, here is the first squad I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do quite a lot of subs and stuff, just see who plays well in different positions, if there's anyone which I should bring off the bench. But we're start starting off with Brinkles between the sticks, Godino on the right, Nakanza and Streetsel. On, in the middle and make to no, one minute, one minute. My, my, 
Maitka? Maitka on the left. Uh, Frick on the right. M Mocha or is it Maika? M Maika? Let me know. <laughs> um, in the middle. Uh, Reinhardt in the middle and Konek on the left. And then we've got Wegkamp up front with Wilms. And that's that was a struggle, wasn't it? I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's jump into the match and see. It's just our first friendly. See what happens. Okay, we are playing FC Energy Cottbus. Kick off. So you notice that it looks really different, like the match. Um, it's quite interesting. I think they've upped the graphics a little bit for the actual gameplay. When you see a highlight. You've got this bar along the bottom where you can like do instant subs and see exactly how your team's playing. It's definitely an improvement, I think. Um, you've got this touchline tablet and the dugout, which is where you say what you want them to do. Okay, our free kick. Oh, it's floated straight back to Godino. Godino's going forward. Oh no, he just gives it away. But it comes back to Brinkles. Uh, Brinkies. Brinkies. I keep wanting to call them Brinkles. Brinkies to Nak. Nakasa, Godino, back to Nakasa, Godino in the middle, Wegkamp Camp to plays it to Mocha. It's like a tall cup of coffee, Mocha. Then Reinhardt has it in the middle, plays it down the middle to Wegkamp. Camp. Oh. So close to the first goal for the club. Who's going to score it, I wonder? So the corner headed away. No one's really chasing it back, so now they have the attack. Pass. Pass puts it into no one. <laughs> That's a bit of a strange choice for him, but we move on. Uh, Godino plays it to Mocha. Mocha to Wilms. Wilms across. Oh, he just gives it away to Hass again. Gesler. This. Uh, see, this is me just learning the team. Who's who's good? Who's bad? So if we lose, we lose. But I would quite like to get a win for our first game, to be honest. They hit the crossbar there, so. Brinkies is doing well. Everyone else kind of doing so-so. Okay, half time. So, open up the tactics. We're going to take off the two. Um, okay, so we've got him who can play left back. Uh, Koskun. And then centre back we need to replace with Stanek. There you go. Does he play good? He's just a two-star all over, so we'll leave him. Uh, we'll keep on um, Kanza, and we'll take off Godino, who's not playing great. Then, who do we have for midfield? Got a left mid. Bring him on, see if he's any good. And we've got centre mid, Jensen. Bring him on for Mocha. Does he play better in any position? Yeah, he plays an advanced playmaker, so we'll put him on. And... Oh, we do have another right back. Uh, but how well does he play on right mid? Oh, he plays quite well on right mid, so we'll put him on. And then Reinhardt for Hauptmann. Uh, what position does he play best? Another advanced playmaker. Okay. Make him advanced playmaker attack rather than support. And we've got uh, Drinku as a striker. We will put him as a poacher. Okay, lot of subs. Only, I think, two people that I didn't sub off. Oh, no, three, including keeper. So let's uh, see how the second half goes. So, yeah, just seeing who plays well, who doesn't play well. Maybe there's people who don't like certain positions or something. Um, and we'll see. Uh, very slow and quiet game, to be honest. Not a lot happening. Second half has literally had nothing. So, I mean, a draw is better than a loss. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything, should I? They're free kick in our half. Probably going to be floated into the box. Oh, uh, they get the ball and they score. Okay, well, a loss is a loss. <laughs> but we're learning the team. Learning what areas are are good and what are bad. And at the moment, 
all are bad. <laughs> um, although I, um, our keeper actually Brinkies is not bad. He's he's played really well this game. It's just one of them things, isn't it? Okay, full time. We lost one nil. Um, two players which stood out, Brinkies and Kanza. So um, need to build around them too, I think, really. Uh, so scouting has come back as well for 30 year old, 34 year old centre back. Where does he come in? The, see, he would be a good. Uh, wow, he needs a lot of wage though. He'd be really good to go next to Nkanza. Um But I don't know if I can justify that much weight. It's basically all of our wage bill that we've got left. Um, then we've got Fiore, 31-year-old, um, uh, set attacking mid. But they're they're not convinced by him, so I'm not convinced either. So we'll just we won't move. We won't make a move for him yet. Um, Kanza put in a great performance, so he was our best performer. Um, can't be too disappointed with the result. We didn't play well at all, and the scoreline reflects that. Okay. Apparently, we're targeting Daniel Ad Adlung, a 32-year-old um, kind of all-rounder midfielder. I mean, he would be cool to have, but... Uh, we ain't got no money for him, so I don't know where that's come from. Uh, so we've got four-year-old uh, Croatian defensive mid. He might be an interesting player to bring in. Where does he sit in the? See, he doesn't actually sit that high in our midfielders. We've got three midfielders above him. I mean, he might be a good kind of replacement, um, and not replacement uh, rotation, but I'm not sure. So we've also got left back uh jagpa he looks pretty good as a left back to be honest he looks like the best he is the best in the team if we were to bring him in he is quite a lot of wage again but would he be like what we need to like build this squad he is quite old as well 33 we've only probably got a season or two out of him um, but his stats are really good. Um, I'm going to remove that. I don't want him as vice captain. Suggest promises. Finalize promises. Yes. Negotiate contract. I'm going to see if I can be really cheeky and put it down to like this. 850. 950. 875. Boom. Finalize deal. Exit talks. Cool. So we have actually put in an offer for him. How much did we have again for our 1.8? So we've still got a little bit. Oh, one of our midfielders just got a gash in the leg and is injured. Um, up to two weeks. That's a bit annoying. So we've got a young Austrian goalkeeper. He is... He looks okay, but not really worth the punt at the moment young defensive midfielder who is definitely not worth it oh he's canadian uh marcus godinho and he's been called up to the the squad um the young togo attacking mid actually does look fairly good where does he fall on the oh he falls quite low on the list but his potential is really high um and he's not free anymore, I don't think. I think someone might have signed him. Yep, someone signed him. We were too late. We, we dilly-dallied. Uh, we've got an 18-year-old German midfielder who looks quite good. Uh, but he is injury-prone and gets stuck in rough challenges. They're the two things which I really, I really don't like. Uh, again, we've got a centre-back who's very injury-prone, but not quite good enough. We've got a midfielder, Tost. Has he signed for anyone yet? No, he hasn't. Hello, 19-year-old. Really good potential. Very consistent. And not a lot per month. Per week, even. So let's... Uh, I'm going to see if I can just be cheeky. There we go. Uh, so we're putting in an offer for Tost. Oh, we've also got... Uh, Fyodor 
Browning. Browning. Um, defensive mid. Uh, no, he's not really. Well, it doesn't feel comfortable with big games, inconsistent injuries, all the things which are like kind of warning marks. Now, this guy really has. I'm quite interested. He is susceptible to injury. Uh, he's not great at long shots. He's selfish and he needs to learn the language. But I don't know. There's just something about him. I feel like we could bring him in and make him like Tottenham's uh, son. We can make Hunjun Park the next big thing. So I'm going. I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to bring him on as well as a. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, 350. I'm going to bring him into the main team instead of sitting him in the reserves, and I'm actually going to make him uh, do his thing. You know, uh, see if we can get a, a consistent scorer out of him. Uh, this goalkeeper free agent where does he fall so he's only two stars at the moment but he has got really good potential uh, needs to be more consistent he's a balanced and normal personality but other than that he there's not a lot about him that we know so um is he worth the risk i mean he will potentially with his potential be better than our second choice keeper in the future he's only 19 as well so yeah i think we can give him a sign cool there we go we've got another friendly so uh any changes which i wanted to make i'm gonna have to remove him from Altman because he's injured uh, i'll just bring uh, these guys up so just really annoying me um i think we're just gonna have to stick with this squad for now until we start bringing in players and seeing who who's good and who's not so this is the squad we've got we've got uh brinkies in uh between the sticks we've got godino on the right uh kanza and streetzel in the middle and mike to in the left i'm not saying that right i know and then we've got frick on the right mocha and reinhardt in the middle and connick in the left and then we have way camp and wilms up front okay we're happy we're jumping in let's do this okay so we are playing herfer berlin 2 so i think this is herfer berlin's uh, reserve squad again a, not an easy game so um let's see what happens i want us to at least get a goal come on lads Okay, our ball in the box. Penalty. Let's just quickly see who's the best penalty taker. Oh my goodness. We need a good penalty taker. That's the next search I'm going to do. It's going to have to be him, but he's a, he's only got 10 penalty taking, um, which is not ideal. Please put it away, where camp. Oh, thank goodness for that. We got our first goal. And Gerrit where camp put it away. Only six minutes into this game as well. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay. It wasn't a great penalty, but it went in. That's that's all that matters. So their corner now. Puts it in. Well headed clear. But they've got it on the edge of the box. Ah, oh, that was a really, really, really bad goalkeeping by Brinkies. Come on, Brinkies. Probably my favourite name to say right now, Brinkies. Now I've got used to it. Look at this. Goes over to Albrecht. And Brinkies just... Just what is that? He just kind of palms it into the goal, that kind of thing. Okay, throw in to Wegkamp. Wegkamp in the middle to Mocha. Mocha to Wilms. To Frick to Mocha. Mocha back to Frick. Frick in the box. Oh, he's challenged. Can he get it? Penalty again! They are very bad with their uh, tackling in the box. Can we camp put this one away? Get himself a second of the game. Come on, man. Yes. Great shot. Great goal. We're loving it. So, um, where camp is all right at got a penalty taken. Might have to just look and see if there's any better players out there, which can be our our top penalty taker. For now, he's put two away. I'm happy. But uh, we'll see. 
We'll see. Okay, so it's quieting down now. Uh, overall, Kanza again playing great. Wegkamp's playing great. Everyone else is playing okay. So um, what I'm going to do is what I did last time. I'm just going to do a lot of subs, give people a chance to play. How does this right back play on left? You know what? He doesn't play too bad on left back. I'm going to play him left back. So we've got another right back here. There you go. Um, I'm going to keep the two centre backs. I'm going to see if we can just build up that partnership a bit more. So I'm happy to have that. And then we're going to play Wolfram on the right. Yeah, he's fine where he is. Uh, then we're going to put uh, Reinhardt off for Leon Jensen. And there's anyone for Mocha? Oh, okay, we don't have anyone for Mocha. That's no worries. <laughs> and then we're going to play Stark on the left. And uh, Drinku for Wilms. There you go. And we're going to change him to a poacher. And Jensen, I think, plays better as a advanced playmaker. So play him support. And we're going to start the second half. So not as many subs as we did last time, but still quite a few. Give the squad a new a, a chance to impress their new boss. Jensen puts it in the box. Wolfram kind of stood off it, didn't he? It's a shame. It would have been nice to see a volley go in. Uh, Mocha gets the ball, plays it back to Wolfram. Wolfram to Jensen. Jensen plays a nice ball out to Schroeter, to Mocha, to Wolfram. Wolfram to Jensen, to Mocha. Beautiful passing, lads. Jensen to Wegkamp. To Drinketh. Now it's back with us. Jensen to Mocha. Drinketh. To Scrooter. Okay, he's just holding it up. And he plays against the legs. And it goes out for a throw. Unfortunate that it didn't end in a goal. Really nice play though. I'm starting to feel a bit more... I was a little bit worried after the first game that we were going to have a really challenging season of like this squad not being able to score at all or anything. Um, or just being awful at passing or something like that. We still might, who knows? But it, I'm I'm liking the early signs. Where camp for the hat trick, so close, so close. Um, okay, again straight away, Stark gets it. Where camp controls it, plays it back to Jensen. Smart ball. Now he plays it, not so smart ball to shooter. Uh, shooter to Jensen, to Mocker, up to Drinketh. Oh. He just drags it wide. I do think we need a bit more of an attacking edge up front, though. Something. It just seems to be a bit bland at the moment. Or maybe something in midfield. A bit more, a uh, bit better delivery as well. Um, but I can't complain because we got the big W. And actually, Jensen played really well. He might be a player that I should bring on instead of maybe Reinhardt. Like, I should start him instead of Reinhardt. Because he played really well, and he he was actually doing a lot of the uh, he was in the middle of all like the challenges and stuff, you know, the, the attacking movement we were doing. Um, we've got some uh, scouting back. Jonas Dawn looks okay. He has got okay potential. He's just he's not jumping out to me, um, so I'm not going to bring him in. We've got Dennis Dinier, uh, fullback, but no. Um, and we get we get the vintage display, which ensures our victory. Um, one thing I'm going to do before we finish it up, I'm just going to go onto the search and see if we've got any good penalty takers on the free list. So technical penalty taking. Okay, we've got a couple who are 15, two strikers. I don't really want to bring. I want it to be like a midfielder, if ideally. So we've got defensive mid. He looks fairly good, actually, just as a normal defensive mid. So one thing I have been contemplating is instead of playing 4-4-2, is playing a defensive mid and the central central midfielder instead of having um, the two mid central midfielders. So that might actually help that idea. Um, actually, one of the left back we're looking to sign is pretty good at penalties as well, from the looks of it. He's 13. Um, we've got a Czech striker, 33-year-old. Benin. Hmm. 
No, I, I, I'm, I'm going to hold off on that one. I've got a Dutch left mid. He looks okay, but um, again, not really what I'm looking for at the moment. We want someone who's pretty creative, you know? So maybe like a technique really high. So if we just turn it down by one, there you go. Ooh, Nuno Fernandez. Sounds like Bruno Fernandez. Bonjour. There you go. It's, it could be our, um, uh, our our answer to Man United's Bruno Fernandez, couldn't he? Um, got an 18-year-old center mid. I don't even know how I'd pronounce his name, so I'm probably not going to. Haken. Um, in interesting. Could bring an American in, you know. See what happens. A Kosovan 25-year-old. He looks really good, actually, as well. Interesting. Uh, right mid, Fabian Schaal, 29-year-old. I don't think he'll be as good. But yeah, okay, we've got a couple of good players there, uh, which we're looking to uh, to bring in. Um, and I didn't want to end it before we bring someone in. So we've got uh, Kaffenberg, or Kaffenberger, who was the defensive mid, good at penalties, good at passing, actually, as well. He looks pretty good, actually, but he's not, like, defensive mid. We have quite a few good defensive mids, actually, which I could use anyway. Now, Nuno Fernandez looks like the sort of player we might want to bring in. Left mid. Bonjour. Yes. We're going we're gonna to make a approach for this guy. 400 grand compensation. Oh, man. That's that's a lot of compensation we're not going to be able to afford. So we're going to have to walk away from that one. But we'll keep an eye on him. But we do have left back Jackpa. Um, Constant. I'm going to call him Constant, actually. Sounds like a great name for a left back. And we've signed him. We've got our, our left back now. Ooh, that's good timing. Because our, our right back is on international. Um... So let's just bring these people back in. And who's a good right back? There you go. Put him in. Um, so yeah, slotted him in. Uh, Jackpa looks pretty decent, to be honest, for our first signing. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think complete wall back, uh, wing back attack might be pretty good. He might, he'd get forward for us. Um, Hatgen... Uh, actually doesn't look that great but um, this guy does oh but he needs a lot of wage we don't have that much wage unfortunately he would be our best midfielder though interesting what do you think let me know in the comments if you think we should try and sign him and then get rid of some players for to get that wage uh, sorted out oh but really good way to finish we're going to sign our South Korean striker as well um and bring him in make him uh oh he's not even in our first team how dare they we're gonna actions move to senior squad there we go so we're gonna bring him in as i'm just gonna play him straight off straight off he's gonna he's gonna jump in um any of these players which i don't want to play I'll, I'll take him off for now the left mid. Uh, what's his best position? Advance forward. There you go. Got an advance forward, Park Hyun Joon. And uh, I'm going to hope that he's going to become one of our absolute rocks uh, and dependable goal scoring opportunities. And we also sign Schoenenbeck as a 19 year old keeper. He'll go into our reserves and we'll train him up. Perfect. So I'm going to leave it there. I keep saying that and I keep jumping into more stuff. Um, we're going to uh, come back and start the season off, maybe make a couple more uh, signings and things like that. But overall, I'm quite happy with the squad that I've got with a club that I just don't know anything about. Um, I'm looking forward to learning more about the players, kind of seeing who plays well, who doesn't. And yeah, just getting into this um, kind of uh, this new series so I hope you enjoy it um, if you have any suggestions let me know uh, thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe and I will see you when I see you